Howdy folks, Kiwi here, and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn, a safe space in which we awesome. Or if you missed the last episode, this is literally seconds after that ended. We're just back in it. Just looting everyone, man. People got stuff. Every now and then, you gotta pick it up. You just gotta make sure that you're picking it up right, you know? I'll find a use for you. I said with an echo. Oh. I picked up this. Nice. Oh, excuse me. Oh, yeah, this thing, too. Oh, excuse me. That, that was a big old burp. All right. 1,100 metal shards. I gotta go sell and buy some shit. Resource supply box. I need to open those up. And god, fucking, there's so much shit everywhere. This is what you get from being a scavenger, you know? Things are just cool. Fucking hell. Look, I'm gonna be here for the rest of my life looting these corpses. Yo, can I... I can search you through the wall. All right, these so resource supply boxes. What the fuck are these? Hang on. Resource supply boxes. Which are what? Oh, they're just this. Take all. Let me just grab fucking Ur thing. All right, and then I look at my inventory, at the new resources I got. Dude, I got so many metal shards. And my inventory is fucking full of shit. Blaze. The common resource is a primary crafting ingredient for fire ammunition types and valuable to merchants. Not that valuable, you only sell four. Some things you can't sell. I'm just gonna sell all my spare stacks of shit of this stuff. Whoa, okay, cool looking. You. Oh, yeah, there you go. There's you. Oh. Nice, nice. I need to upgrade my fucking inventory here. Hang on, hang on. There's a way to go about that. If we go to our crafting, Good work, carry capacity. Resource pouch. Resources satchel. What do you need for this? Boar bones? More of those? Ugh. Alright, well, I need to go kill a boar, apparently. But regardless, we got this thing. Alright. Now, I discovered that campfire. I just gotta discover a few of these campfires, you know? Also, the town I need to go to is a fucking thousand years away. I'm gonna go collect that campfire over, over this way, I think. And then I'm gonna teleport away. Teleport away! But yeah, just being a hoarder, it's a great time. Great life. Right, halfway there. Whoa! Killing to the, the zombies. My brain shut down for a second there. Didn't want to use exact lyrics, I just wanted to use something else and quick say it. Anyway. Time to go all the way. I didn't click that one. Back. What is this? I don't know, man, but I'm going fucking home. Yeah, yeah, confirm that. I'm going to sell so much shit all day, every day. 
and it's just going to be fucking fantastic. All right, trigger large elemental explosions by hitting a machine's power cell, blaze canister, or something or other. Unlock the shard scavenger skill to break down resources and modifications into half their worth in metal shards, clearing space in your inventory. That would be fantastic for the extra crap I don't care about that's actually really cheap, like stuff that costs one. Ridgewood grows everywhere, but more densely near riverbeds. Rocks are often found near roads or in riverbeds. So go to the river, you'll have arrows forever. This is why I don't do this very often. The Sharp Shot Bow features precision arrows, which are effective for long-range combat. Their fire rate is low, but these arrows deal high damage. So yeah, no, I am feeling good about this game, but I'm thinking about the next game as I want to record, right? Like, there's a few on my list. I just got Punch Club. Man, Punch Club kicks ass. It's fucking... Uh, I, would, I just, you know, played it... I started playing it offline on a whim, um, like, with my friends on my Discord call. And I was going until like one in the morning. It was just addictive. It's the the gameplay loop, and I want to satisfying. Um, not only that, but I got this old DOS game from like '94 that I'm excited to play. Um, so me and my buddies, we were I think we were hanging out and playing Overwatch. Uh, this is back before the second one came. It was the first Overwatch, and we were looking at uh, while we were waiting for a game to load. We were looking at freeware, and you know on Google, I'm like, all right, what's some cool stuff? And then I found the Incredible Machine Two. You guys remember the Incredible Machine? It's like the Rube Goldberg device, with like the cat and the lasers and the and the baseball and the, the tiny person They're just running around doing stuff, and it's great. Um, well, the second one is Freeware, so I literally just downloaded that, and I own that game now. It's fantastic. Dude, Freeware is the best wear. It's so good. Anyway, um, so then I'm like, well, hang on. What's some older games that I used to enjoy? Roller Coaster Tycoon, definitely up there. It's the oldest game I've played on my channel as of currently. Oh no, I did a, a Let's Try from a game from 97. Uh, I don't remember, but it started with a Z. Anyway, um, then I was like, wait, hang on. There's another game I used to play growing up. And there's one game my mom loved, in fact, on the, uh, the old Windows 95. And then I'm like, is it free? Oh shit, it ain't, no. But, can I get it? And then it's like five bucks on Steam, so I'm like, fuck yes. The game I'm referring to, by the way, is Hocus Pocus. Just not based on the movie. It's not the movie. It's its own thing. It's actually a 3D Realms game, I realized. I'm like, damn. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm excited to record that one. That's going to be fucking sick. Now, the controls are weird because it's an old game. You know, WASD. Um, I had to manually set the space part to be jump. Uh, anyway, talk to this guy. Well, I hope you're looking to buy... I could use the shards. I may buy. I don't know. Right, I'm a trade See though, certainly. You like? Sure you do. You need you need new lines. Anyway, so I'm gonna go to my resources. Oh no no! I want to sell resources. This thing is specifically for, exclusively for selling for metal shards. And this thing too. That thing not so much. I'm just gonna always sell the things that are just for selling first. Because you have literally no reason to hold on to them at this time. That, Like that, for example. I got 44 Metal Burn. Get that thing. Do you have Boar Bones by chance? I could use some. I'm going to sell my spare stacks of shit. Uh, sell all? Oh, sell multiple. Eh. And like this thing. I don't need these multiple stacks. Sell multiple of them. Let's see. I don't need that many corruption glaze root here. Oh, and I definitely don't need that many fucking blaze canisters. Alright, so all that, all of it, and I do mean all of it. Perfect. Right, 41 of 50. I could go lower. I could go lower. 
Uh, this thing. I don't need three stacks of this. Actually, wait. No, no. You want to sell... All right, here we go. Sell the, the full stack. There you have it. Down to 40. Anyway, I need to buy some resources. Do you have boar bone? You don't. That sucks. Wait. This is the thing he was talking about the whole time. Oh my god, this is the DLC shit. Oh! What episode is this? Hang the fuck on. What episode is this? I'm telling him immediately. Hang on. This is episode 22. I finally found out how this shit works. God, he's probably been pissed at me the whole time. A hundred blaze? That's a lot of blaze. I'm not going to do that. Oh, wait, no, it's two blaze. All right, well, it's five shards and two blaze, and I can definitely do that. Rich meat, fatty meat. Middle shards. Uh, bay. And go to treasure bat. No, ammo. I don't need ammo. What the hell was that? Hang on. Terror blast arrow pack? I uh, need. Shock resist, freeze, resist, freeze, resources. You don't have the one I want. Outfits. I'm going to buy all of the outfits. Nora Heavy Protector. Oh, I don't have the thing required for it. Alright, so what's this one do? It resists like 15 of all that stuff. And I got the, uh, the cold one. Sickness Eater Heavy. What does this do? Bound with cables and cloths, steeped in ancient machine oils, the Bannock Shaman's outfit protects from corruption damage. Oh shit, that's pretty good. I'm going to get the Heavy Survival... Survivor? You go down here and get the Shadow Sting. Right, this thing... does pretty good. The Karja Sharp Shot Bow. And I'm primarily an outfits kind of gal, so I'm going to grab me one of these. Equip. Eh, yeah. Equip that. Equip the outfit. It lowers my stealth, well, but whatever. I hope now I resist good. everything yes. and I'm amazing. Me too. Alright, now I take a look at my inventory, because I got a lot of stuff going on now. All right, data points, all of them. I'm not going to listen to them, I just don't care enough. Like, if you guys want to listen to them, go ahead, but it ain't for me. Ancient whatever, new machines or whatever. Active, main, side, Aaron, bandit camp, palm knight, Ooh, corrupted zones. I'm not going to do that one, but I could. Very much well do it. I got that one to do. Clear the corrupted zones. Okay, I'm gonna go to my inventory because I got a lot of new cool stuff. Treasure boxes. Nice. Damn it. Alright, cool. Take off. I did it. Alright, so let me go to my specialty items. Use for indicating map locations. Okay, add map markers hinting at the location where metal flowers might be found. Bannock art might be found. Blah, 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 blah. Manage it. Well, I, found, I bought maps is what I did. Alright, so. What do I need? What don't I need? Equip onto. I guess it would be right. What do you do? Bannock culling bow. Hunter bow. 
You tear. But you also have modifications, so. I go to my crafting in order to mess with my modifications. F. No, no, I want to, I want to clear. Go back. R. Tinker skill not, I can't, I can't remove a thing. Well, hang on. I have the capability. Strike from below. Oh, that's neat. Strong strike. Dodge prowess. Those arm drops. This thing is what I require. Order. Increases its resource inventory slots by 20%. Mount repair plus... Oh, shit. Increases mount health. That's if I ever care about my mount stuff. Repair an overall... An overridden machine using metal shards. Why would I do that? Chance to, for extra resources when looting down machines. Herbalist. Levels of capacity. I want a level 3 uh, thing. Dodge proud. I don't care about dodging as much. I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong. Forger, brave, and traveler. Yeah, I'm going to grab that. Everything else is based on, like, mounting and stuff, and I don't care. Alright. Inventory. Resistant to shock. Alright, so how, how do my weapons work? I'm gonna take a look at these weapons real quick. This is my main one. Handling is 80. Uh, normal ammo does... Whatever. Normal ammo does 20 uh, that and, and 28 tearing. This is a specifically a trap one. A sharp shot. Handling 32. And handling is probably how it curves the arrow. Okay, so this is a similar one to the other one I was using. It just naturally does fire. This one does not naturally do fire. I could sell some of my crap. But why would I? I got quests and shit to pick up. Maybe that one. Primarily. Oh, there's circles fucking everywhere. Oh no, I've made an error. Oh, there's things to do everywhere. I do not want to do a million things in this video game. It's already too big and overwhelming. What do you want? What do you even Where's want? Where's your Sona? You're reinforcing Mother's Crown? If the Nora are to weather another attack by the Metal Devil, we must brace our defenses. Hey. Right. Still, the concern is not yours. You're not mine to command. You can still ask, War Chief. Very well. We need a harvest lance horns. They carry chill water. Right. Their lenses have many uses also. Yeah, yeah. I've already hunted lance horns. I should have the parts you seek. I'm not surprised, but I am grateful. Okay. I also need the watchtowers stocked with signal arrows. Take these to Orn's Tower in the south. Ooh, okay, if new thing. You would. So, yeah, I mean, if you're gonna. All right, shorter supplies. New errand. Well, right. she's an outcast. No longer. Oh, okay, I was about to complain. The sacred land is my home. I never want to leave. Where are you shooting your arrow? Hang on, I'm curious. Shooting up. But you, you're shooting forward. What are you, what are you shooting? Shoot something! Damn it! I'm going to sell back some of this armor that I'm not wearing. Because uh, if I go to quest... Oh, right, the errands. It's level 10? Oh, God. Alright. 
generous reward box. All right, I need to go to my inventory. I need to go to my outfits. I need to get rid of some of this crap that I'm never going to use. I can drop it. I can drop this, but not that one. Get rid of my Silent Hunter one. Oh, shit. Wrong button. I just want to do what this one you want to do. Modifications. Outfits. Uh, resist everything. Now, this does resist cold quite a bit better than this one. However, if I go to craft, Go to Modify Outfits and put modifications on here. There's this freeze weather. Better. Ooh, resist corruption weave. Fuck yes. Resist range attack weave. If you equip a mod in a full slot, the old mod will be lost. Tinker skill not learned. I mean, that's fine. I like that. That's pretty awesome. Oh yeah, that resists corruption real good. Anyway, this is my winter outfit, and I can't even put anything in there. Select. Oh, it just wouldn't work for reasons unknown. Even better at resisting the cold. There you go. Very cold resist. And I just sort of get rid of that one because it's taking up space. But also, if I go to... Carry capacity. Outfit satchel. I can just up it, you know? There you go. Hit back. Weapon satchel. Carry more weapons. Back. Modification satchel. Potions. Traps. Hunter bow quiver. Ooh, I want that run real badly, but I just wasted all my my fatty meat. Trip caster ammo pouch. Traps. You know what? There's no reason I shouldn't do these things. Bouncy meat? Oh, shit. Hang on. Turkey skin? No more upgrades. That's all the traps I can do. Metal vessel. Ooh, I need fish bones. And also more ridgewood. I'm just using up all my ridgewood real quick here. And there you have it. And just get this one, even though I don't need it. And there you have it. I have upgraded everything that I feel the need to do. So now that I've wasted like 17 minutes of your time, I can go to my sp uh, this and then just collect everything. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Urge a mighty bow, a specialized hunter bow that possesses additional stopping power. Can be modified. Handling is great. How does it compare to this one? It's like identical. <sighs> Some modifications on it. Damn. Damn. Look crazy. Alright. I'm gonna modify this. Sure. I'm gonna do all of the fire. More fire damage all the time. That's my fire bow. All right, I just need to, oh. So this one's actually better at the default stuff. As for fire, this one is my go-to for fire for now on. All right. Let's go fucking manual save and then hit up something, yeah. I've done nothing for a long time. This episode's all about fucking figuring shit out and not actually doing anything.
Manual save. Fuck yes. All right, and then where am I going? Oh god, I'm going south. Okay. Where am I going south? It's not quite back where I started initially, but you know, it's through the frozen wastelands. You know what? I think I'll do the errand later. I'll just do main quest right now. Corrupted zone level 15. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Quest. Do the main quest. Alright, I gotta clear the corrupted zones. Let's go, man. It's been it's been sitting me in my in my face for a long, long time. Yep. Oh, my eyes itchy. Suddenly. I need to go clear a corrupted zone. Or at least scout it out so I could take a look at it. I'm in it now. Shit. By clear, you just mean kill everything in it? Because I could just murder, that's fine. Stronger than usual. The flames, they're burning it. Those machines. You can see the corruption coming off them like smoke. Ah. Time to You're gonna explode, man. I do not care for it. Where the hell do you even go? Missed. You're dead. You're about to be dead. There you go. That was it. That was easy. So these corrupted zones aren't actually that it's difficult. Poison. Seems almost to eat away at metal. Maybe that's what drives the machines mad. Okay, so corrupted zones aren't that difficult. Unless they're like super high level or whatever. What was the one I interacted with? This one. How? It was level 18. Okay, so it's a little, it was a little above my pay grade. I'll find a way to use it someday. Anyway, so now I'm at the point where it's the end of the episode. And there's no other campfires nearby. Especially not in this direction, as far as I know. So what I need to do is I need to find the fucking tall neck in the area. And that'll unlock the whole damn map. God, there's so many fucking icons everywhere. But also, I'm not going to go all the way back. I'm going to hit up that one. Gonna, gonna mark it. Ah, there you are. I'm going to pick up everything. There ain't no stopping me now that all my pouches are empty and and and, and bigger. Yep. 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 Manu. 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 Meow. Manu. 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 Let's go. Let's go, baby. But that ought to be for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Of course, from Kiwi, I'm Gertrude. Super delightful day. Love you all. Goodbye.